you know what the Security Prosperity Partnership is? No. No. No? No. no. Not at all. Have you ever heard of it before? Uh, um, a few seconds ago. They said the public is not ready for this agenda. Essentially, that's why it has to take place behind closed doors. What they're saying is, Canadians knew the extent of the Security and Prosperity Partnership, they'd reject it. What happened after the shock of September 11th is that that crisis was expertly manipulated by our political leaders to push through a range of policies that they actually had wanted to push through before September 11th, but didn't have the political conditions that made that possible. What the SPP really represents is a parallel government. It was totally and profoundly undemocratic process. Nobody was asked except uh, the big business community. We're talking about 300 different areas where they're essentially a lowering of regulatory standards. The marketing people have clearly gotten a hold of this. The security and prosperity partnership. Well, who the heck could be against that? Security, militarization, things like the no-fly list, CCTVs. My husband was detained 43 months without charge or access to the evidence because the government thought he was a terrorist in the past, present, or in the future. In the labor movement, we keep asking, well, in whose security is being protected here? What the Security and Prosperity Partnership is saying is, these are North American resources. These are not Canadian resources. Stop thinking Canadian. There is a frenzy on privatizing everything and anything that we own. The ultimate goal, uh, quite obviously, is to create such tight integration that uh, effectively we only have one North American uh, political uh, security, military and economic place, that there really are no, no differentials uh, between this country and the country next door. In the final statement, what was said was that this process will advance if there is some kind of a disaster. And they talked about an avian flu outbreak, they talked about a natural disaster. And so they were actually very explicit that this process that was born of a shock would advance with the next shock. We were told we could present these petitions, which are thousands of petitions from Canadians all across the country, officially and peacefully to a delegation. They don't like it, and so they are blocking us here from telling our story in there. These three guys are cops, everybody! Put the rock down, cops! We are the people, we will not be silent. No to the SPP.